had y'all to go on our Instagram to ask us some questions that y'all wanted to know about us and whatever. So, we're going to answer those once we get back to the house. We're going to get and got food. I finally got him to try sushi for the first time, you guys. He always tell me no, but we're going to go do that right now. Um, and if you know, then you know that I don't even like going out of my corner. I'm a basic eater. I eat. I can eat chicken strips and fries every day. I just, I don't know. It's just, I've always been like that. I don't know what, what it is. I just don't like trying different stuff. But he been begging me for the longest. And I'm like, okay, whatever. We gonna go ahead and try it out. And Everybody say it's good. I, I just, I, I never I just tried it for real. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you know me, I, I'm not really a picky eater. So I can kind of adjust. It's him. He's very picky to what he eats. Well, we don't see. So we got our food. I got um, shrimp fried rice and I got what are these called? Oakland fried rolls. And then I got a samurai roll with shrimp fried rice in case I didn't like the samurai roll. <laughs> this shit gonna be so nasty. Look at I'm gonna try it out. Okay, yeah. um, this shit gonna be so nasty. Okay, so we're just gonna get right into the video. Hold on, let me get a bite first. <laughs> Damn, they couldn't even take the the the, the, uh, the tail off. Tail off. Uh -huh. So, the first question is, how y'all meet? So, <laughs> okay, so I DM, yeah, uh -huh. I did, a few years ago I DM Robert or whatever, you know, trying to talk to him because I thought he was cute or whatever. But he, we ended up talking for a little bit, then he just stopped messaging me out of nowhere. No, 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 no. All right, so I was at work. I was working at Walmart and I was on break. And I got a DM from him. So I'm like, who's this dude? Like, they said he was from Houston and everything. I'm like, I ain't never, I ain't never seen him, you know. I ain't never seen this dude before. So I sent a picture to my, one of my friends. I'm like, hey, you know this boy? My friend was like, nah. I'm like, okay, cool. So when he told me how old he was at the time, I was like, mm, nah, because he was giving me very much so. <laughs> sugar baby, sugar daddy. Mm, boy. It was going to get bad. Um, I had stopped responding to him for like a few weeks. And then I hit him out. And shit, it's been history ever since. Yo, he came, he came to see me. He came to see me quick too. Like, he came to see yeah. me. I used to go every two weeks <laughs> and visit him in Houston. I was staying in Dallas, so I used to go every two weeks and go visit him. So, that's how we met, y'all. That's how we met. And we've been on ever since. I don't know, that's what it is. What you got in it? Was that crab meat? Salmon, crab meat, cream cheese. And I'm crab. nervous to try this one. <laughs> that should look nasty. Y'all, you gotta try it though. Okay. If you know, then you know. I do not try new shit. So me trying this, it's like this I texture. Really is, yeah, I like me. Really I've been, I've like, been asking him like, let's try sushi. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But he gets so mad. Now, not, not, not mad, but like when I try different stuff without him. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's good. That way, I ain't get no salt. What kind of salt you got? Damn, I ain't get nothing to drink. Ready? Mm hmm. <laughs> you don't like it? This one, it's not, honestly, this one, not honestly, not bad. You don't like it? 
This one not bad, y'all, honestly. This is not. But it's not bad, but I know if I didn't get it fried, I wouldn't want it because it give you it gets I got like a crunch taste. It's like mm. crunchy on the outside, but then like gooey on the inside. But I mean it's great. Right. Right. Nah, not right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. This one okay. Right. Question number two. Who's the most adventurous? Um I honestly feel like we both are, but he's more adventurous. Know, yeah, he's more adventurous, so he likes. I like trying new shit. I like doing shit. I like going places. He's I like, like just very risk taker. He likes to yeah. try new things and daredevil type of shit. You only live one shit. I'm shit. I don't want to die. I want to. If I die, I want to know I'm, I died like doing shit that I actually you know want to do. Yeah. So he kind of he kind of pulled that out of me. And he's more of a risk taker. Let me see. Next question. Do y'all face any struggles as a gay couple? Um, I don't know. No. I wouldn't say nothing out of the ordinary that like normal gay couples don't. Yeah, Either. like I would say like when people see us in public, people will tend to think that we're brothers. Yes, we always before, get asked. Or, you know, they should and it'd be so funny to like they are both ask us the same question, but at different times, and we just we are laugh about it. We we'll be like, no, like because I don't feel like we look nothing alike. We, like, yeah, do we look nothing alike? <laughs> look at this and look at this. We look nothing alike. <laughs> That's why I, I don't understand. People, yeah, people real life be thinking like we brothers. I be like, no, like I don't give y'all new like, no, what the fuck? No, we do. But no, we don't deal with no just out of the ordinary struggles. Yeah. How long have y'all been together? It to make three years, April first. Three years. So, yeah, three years, April first. So it is real long time. Yes, it felt like I knew him for like forever. Like even when I met him, it felt like I just knew him already. Like this is the type of person I am. I adapt well. Even though, like, you know, we still learn each other every day and stuff like that. Okay, let me try this. Let me try this one. Let me try the opposite one. What do, so what do, like, what's the texture? You might not like the texture. It's like kind of mushy. I, it's kind of mushy. Let me get water. I'm gonna be in this YouTube stuff 2020. I mean, 2022. I'm saying 2020, that's two years ago. I haven't done that. That's bad. This is gonna be a whole year in a few hours. This shit look disgusting, like it's honestly better than this one though. Mm -hmm. Like I can't, it's falling apart. I need the part. Mm. What type of that sauce is like? Look at this. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What type of meat is this? Is like salmon? Uh, I believe it's it might be tuna, tuna shrimp, mm, tempura, tempura fish. Not raw fish. Which one? This one. This one look weird. I don't know. Come on, count three. One, two, three. I know him. The texture is kind of like mushy. That's why we got shrimp fried rice, y'all. <laughs> and he told me he was like, "You're not gonna order nothing else. Like, you just gonna get the sushi." He was that like, shit. Mm 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 mm. He was like, "You just gonna get the sushi? What if you don't like the sushi?" I was like, "Yeah, you're right." So I had went back and ordered. So you would eat all that? What all you this? Mm mm. Next question. <laughs> what are you guys zodiac sign? I'm a Gemini. I'm a Leo. You know what's funny? I don't like Leos, but everyone around me is a Leo. Three of my closest friends is Leo. My dude is Leo. But I don't get along with him. That's crazy, huh? No. Well, once I don't get along, I just don't like some of the characteristics that they have. 
like and, by, and vice versa so maybe that's why nothing wrong with a gemini oh uh, it's it's it's, a, it's some stuff wrong nothing with wrong with a gemini it's some stuff wrong with y'all but you know what but i feel like we all got our characteristics that just kind of if you don't like a gemini you just hating you jealous mm-hmm. and that's just how i feel jealous about what what you mean about everything boy everybody jealous that's a personal problem everybody jealous because why would you not like a gemini Mm-hmm. Cause y'all, y'all moody. Y'all wake up with different moods every day. Well, not every day, but sometimes. Cause where do y'all see yourself in the next three years? That's why three years. That's three specific. years. <laughs> why not three years? <laughs> That's why. Like, ah, uh, what's that? The specific kind of like yeah, like year, three like, years. Like, so you just say like five like, years or ten, ten years. years? Yeah, like three years. Oh, uh, honestly, I see us. Honestly, living somewhere, living on like the 25th floor, Florida uh, ceiling, windows, living good, like working for ourselves. Yeah, I just see us being consistent with YouTube, you know, traveling more, just enjoying life shit. Just life is short. Just we enjoy young. life. Yeah. We got a little dog, just enjoying life. Well, we got to introduce him. What are you guys' ages? <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm 24. I'm 20. I know. Four years apart. But I feel like it's a cute, I feel like it's a cute, it's like, cute. it's a cute gap. Like, it's not. Now, I'm five not years have been, five years been too much, but. I'm not too old, I'm not too old. <laughs> but y'all see, that's why I didn't want to get him no yeah. play when he hit me up. Because I was like, mm-hmm. you was a little kid, like. And I mean, I didn't take offense to a shit. You can't control your age. I didn't take offense to it. But I don't think I told you that's why until like after we like really got serious. No, I I, I I figured that was why. And y'all know, y'all. He said he thought that I was ghetto. I and did. I thought reason, I thought like he was like he thought I was like, hood and ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought he was a hood. I thought he was hood for real. So you wanted you a hood boy? Mm-hmm. I remember somebody had asked me. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had asked me, she was like, you she was like, you and that hood dude still go out? I was like, yeah, we still go out. Mm-mm, so I'm hood. <laughs> you had me a little shooter. Well, apparently I'm hood. That's what he thought. Why well, I'm trying to even take shots here. How did you guys tell your family and friends? Tell them, tell them what, that we was in a relationship or like that we were gay? How did we talk? I'm assuming that we were gay because yeah, how did you tell no. So my family pretty much already knew, like, because I never, like, talked about no girls. I never brought no girls around. So they pretty much already knew. It was just something, a situation that happened. We could save that for another story time, but it was just a situation that happened that I got caught up in the shit and they found out. Yeah, that's how my family But my family always knew that I was gay. Basically, I moved my nigga. <laughs> but now, she um, he used to have this necklace that had his name on it, and I had came, I had went to visit him on weekend, and I like, oh, let me have, let me wear that chain, let me borrow that chain, whatever. So I put the chain on, and I went home. When I walked in the house, my brother was like, "Who is Dustin?" So I, I just kept walking, I didn't hear him. So I went in the bathroom and I had to take it off. So I had came out the bathroom. And thinking, you know, that they was gonna say something, like say something about it, so I didn't say nothing. So then later on, like a few days later, I had it on again. And my mom was like, who is Dustin? And this was before he moved with me. This was before he moved with me. She was like, who is Dustin? I'm like, what are you talking about? So I went and took it off again. And this time I never put it on. So I end up we end up going out of town um, one weekend and after we came back from town out of town, I'm like, I really like, I really like wanna go back home, like I'm like not be man. Like I wanted him to like move with me. So I told him I was like, you can come, you can stay with me and my mom and my brother. And he was like, for real? I was like, y'all already asked her. I haven't even asked her yet. So we in, we in there packing his shit up. <laughs> we in there packing his shit up. I'm like, 
for real, like I can come, I can come play with you, cause like, you know, when you do long distance, you get tired of like, it was just, you get tired yeah. of FaceTime, you get tired of every two weeks coming to see the person. You yeah, get, like, you get tired of being like, yeah. I just want to be in his skin. <laughs> you get That's, tired I just want to be in his skin. So my mom was like, yeah, cool, whatever. He can come and like basically, that was that. Like he came. That baby went up to you like. I never, I, I he never, never came out the room. Like I was, I never her, came out the room. Like and he would never come out the room. Like my mama, she would text me, and be like, "Has Dustin ate? Has Dustin did this?" I'm like, I don't know. Like I'm sure. I mean, if he's hungry, I know he know how to go in the kitchen and make something to eat. But we ended up moving out. We was probably there for like what, like a month. Yeah, we went there for long. Yeah, we was there for like a month, and then we moved out together on our own. Cause I mean, it always been a plan to get our own place and stuff like that. It just happened sooner than what we planned, which was good. So, but, it's gonna be the end of the couples Q and A slash McBain. That you like, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna have some more content for y'all: pranks, challenges, vlogs, all that. So, in 2022, we coming for y'all, so. Stay tuned, we'll see y'all in the next video.